Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, where we delve into the mysteries of the cosmos and unearth the stories hidden in the stars. Today, we're going to explore a tale as old as time itself, Satan Before Earth. So, sit back, relax, and let's embark on this cosmic journey together. In the very beginning, the cosmos was a boundless void, an infinite expanse of absolute nothingness. It was a realm devoid of life, light, or matter, a silent vacuum where time and space held no meaning. This was a universe in its rawest form, untouched and unformed, a canvas waiting for the artist's first stroke. Within this vast emptiness, a subtle shift occurred. A ripple in the fabric of the cosmos, a whisper of change in the eternal silence. It was as if the universe itself had taken a breath, stirring the stillness of the void. This was the spark of divine energy, a single point of celestial light piercing the darkness. It was the birth cry of existence, the first note in the symphony of creation. From this spark emerged a being of immense power and intellect, the firstborn of the cosmos. This being was Lucifer, the morning star. He was the first of God's creations, a testament to the divine power of the Creator. Lucifer was a being of pure light, his radiance outshining the stars themselves. His beauty was unparalleled, a reflection of the divine image of his Creator. Lucifer was not just a being of light, but also of wisdom. His intellect was vast, encompassing the knowledge of the cosmos. He was the first to understand the laws of the universe, the rhythms of the stars, and the secrets of creation. His wisdom was a beacon in the void, a guide for the beings that would come after him. But Lucifer was more than just a creation of God. He was a part of God, a fragment of the divine essence. He was the embodiment of God's love, a mirror reflecting the Creator's light. His existence was a testament to the power of divine love, a love that could create something as beautiful and complex as Lucifer from the emptiness of the void. So, in the beginning, there was nothing. But from this nothingness, something beautiful and powerful emerged. This was the story of Lucifer, the morning star, the first of God's creations. It was the dawn of existence, the birth of light and life in the cosmos. Lucifer, the morning star, was a being of extraordinary beauty and intellect. His radiance was so intense that it outshone the stars themselves, casting a brilliant light across the cosmos. His wisdom was profound, transcending the boundaries of comprehension. He was a marvel of divine craftsmanship, the epitome of perfection, a testament to the boundless creativity and power of God. His form was a spectacle of divine artistry, each feature meticulously crafted to reflect the glory of his creator. His wings, vast and resplendent, shimmered with a thousand hues, each feather catching the celestial light and throwing it back in a dazzling display of brilliance. His eyes, deep and wise, held the knowledge of the cosmos, reflecting the depth of his understanding and the breadth of his intellect. But within this paragon of perfection, a seed of discontent began to sprout. Lucifer's heart, once a wellspring of love and devotion for his creator, began to change. It was a subtle shift at first, barely noticeable, like the first hint of dawn after a long night. But as time passed, these feelings grew, slowly but surely, like a seed pushing its way through the soil towards the light. His love and devotion began to give way to feelings of pride and ambition. He started to question his place in the grand scheme of things, his role in the divine plan. He began to yearn for more, for power, for autonomy, for a chance to prove his worth. His ambition, once a source of motivation and drive, began to consume him, blinding him to the love and grace that had been bestowed upon him. This pride and ambition sowed the seeds of rebellion in his heart. He began to see himself not as a creation of God, but as a rival. He saw his wisdom and beauty not as gifts, but as weapons, tools to challenge the one who had created him. And so, Lucifer, once the most beautiful and wise of all angels, set himself on a path that would lead to his downfall. As Lucifer's pride swelled, so too did his insatiable thirst for power. He harbored a deep yearning, a burning desire to ascend to the heights of divinity. He wished to wield the power of creation and destruction, to hold dominion over the cosmos, to stand as an equal to God. This was not a fleeting whim, but a profound longing that consumed him, fueling his every thought and action. This intense desire sparked a daring plan within Lucifer. He rallied a third of the heavenly host, persuading them with his charismatic eloquence and promises of freedom. He instigated a rebellion against God, a revolt that would shake the very foundations of heaven. The heavens, once a tranquil haven of peace and harmony, were transformed into a chaotic battlefield. Angels clashed against angels, brother turned against brother, in a cataclysmic war that would determine the fate of the cosmos. However, God, in his boundless wisdom and omnipotent power, was not to be overthrown so easily. 
He quelled the rebellion, restoring order to the heavens. Lucifer and his followers, the fallen angels who had dared to defy their creator, were cast out of heaven. They fell like lightning from the sky, a sight as breathtaking as it was terrifying. Lucifer, once the morning star, the beacon of light and wisdom, was now Satan, the adversary. His radiant beauty was stripped away, replaced with a grotesque form that mirrored the darkness of his deeds. His once brilliant light was extinguished, replaced with the chilling darkness of his new realm. His fall from grace was complete, marking the end of his reign in heaven and the beginning of his rule in hell. Banished from the heavenly realms, Satan found himself in a realm of utter chaos and unbearable suffering. This realm, a stark contrast to the tranquility and harmony of heaven, was devoid of God's divine light. It was a place where joy was replaced with sorrow, peace with turmoil, and love with hatred. It was a realm that reflected the darkness of Satan's heart, a realm that was as far removed from heaven as possible. But Satan, in his defiance and pride, refused to accept his fate. He decided to create his own world, a world that mirrored his inner turmoil and suffering. He shaped this world with his will, molding it into a reflection of his fallen grace. This world was filled with chaos and suffering, a testament to the darkness that had consumed Satan. This world, my friends, is what we now know as Earth. Earth, however, was not to remain a realm of chaos and suffering. God, in an act of ultimate defiance against Satan's rebellion, decided to populate Earth with his own creations, humans. Humans, unlike the angels, were made in God's image. They were imbued with a divine spark, a piece of God's own essence. This divine spark gave them the ability to love, to create, to dream, and most importantly, to choose. Humans were given free will, the ability to choose between good and evil, between God and Satan. This was a gift that no other creature possessed, a gift that set humans apart. It was this gift of free will that would set the stage for the eternal struggle between good and evil, between God and Satan. And thus, the stage was set. On one side was God, the creator of the universe, the embodiment of love and goodness. On the other side was Satan, the fallen angel, the embodiment of hatred and evil. In the middle were humans, beings of free will, tasked with choosing between good and evil. This is the story of Satan Before Earth, a tale of pride and rebellion, of love and defiance, of good and evil. It's a story that continues to unfold, a story that we are all a part of. So, as we navigate through our lives, let us remember the lessons of this tale. Let us choose love over hatred, peace over chaos, and good over evil. The story of Satan Before Earth is a tale of pride and ambition, of rebellion and consequences. It serves as a reminder of the dangers of unchecked ambition and the destructive power of pride. But it also tells us about redemption, about the power of choice, and the eternal struggle between good and evil. So, next time you look around and wonder why the world is the way it is, remember, it all started with Satan before Earth. It's a story that's as old as time itself, yet as relevant today as it was when it first unfolded in the celestial realms. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Celestial Chronicles. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories from the cosmos. Until next time, keep looking up and let the stars guide you.